Before we see the process, let's take a minute to identify the various parts of the system. The first area is the freeboard. Freeboard is the area where resin is allowed to expand. This area also allows the dirt that is collected on top of the resin bed to be flushed out. Next, we have the dip tube. This tube is also known as the distribution tube or riser tube. The next element in the system is the resin. Pro Systems water softeners use Dow's IonX 2000. There are several brands available, but we choose to use IonX 2000 because of its long life and its resistance to chlorine. Next, we have a layer of gravel. The gravel protects the lower basket of the dip tube. This basket keeps the resin from entering the dip tube and passing into the home. The gravel also allows water to flow through with ease. Next, we have the fill tube. In the softener process, it's necessary to have a tube that connects the head with the brine tank. This tube has two functions. It's used to draw the brine out of the brine tank, and it's also used to refill the brine tank for future regeneration. Inside that brine tank, you'll find the brine float assembly. Plumbers will notice this part resembles a large ball cock assembly, with one difference. It has an air inductive valve at the bottom, which allows water to come up. The next element at the bottom of the tank is the salt tray. This tray has holes so that the salt will not bridge. Bridging happens when the glue in the salt forms a kind of crust or false top. When this happens, you might inspect the tank and see this false top. This would lead you to think the system has not been using salt. In reality, the area underneath this crust will be hollow. It's a good practice to always hit the top to make sure this has not occurred. Back up at the top, we have the inlet from the main. Our system is a rotary valve, so water always enters from the left. Exiting the top, you'll find the drain, which is 3 quarter inch in diameter. Finally, on the right, we have our outlet to the home. Now that you've seen the elements, it's time to see how it works. By following the arrows, you'll see the process starts with water entering the system. The water is quickly diverted down through the resin bed. This starts the softening process. Calcium and magnesium are attracted to the resin bed as the water passes through. By the time the water reaches the basket, it's been softened. The softened water then flows up through the center distribution tube and out to the home for use. At some point, the resin will become full of calcium and magnesium and become ineffective. When this happens, we have to give it a recharge. We do this with a process called regeneration. There are three stages to regeneration in a water softening system. Stage one requires us to loosen or expand the resin bed. In this stage, water is brought in and diverted down the center tube. The water is then forced up through the resin bed. As the water pushes up through that bed, the resin expands into the freeboard space. This is called stratification. The second stage requires us to pull the brine from the tank. When this stage begins, water enters the system from the left. Pay close attention to the arrows here, as there are two things happening simultaneously. Water is diverted down through the freeboard, back up through the dip tube, and out the drain. As the water passes the top of the fill tube, a siphon is created. This siphon draws the brine from the tank. This is called the brining process. This process takes anywhere from 49 to 84 minutes, depending on the size of the unit. During this process, the amount of water going to drain is about a quarter gallon per minute. Now, with the brine tank full of dissolved salt water, it's time for stage three, the fill rinse. Since our resin bed is still expanded, we will need to compress the bed back down. As water comes in and passes down through the resin, the bed is compressed and the resin is rinsed simultaneously. While this is happening, we are also sending water down the fill tube to replenish the brine tank. On a 1.5 cubic foot system, this process takes nine minutes. For every two gallons of water that goes to drain, a half gallon will go to the brine tank. This completes the process of regeneration and gets the brine tank prepared to regenerate the resin in the future. Hopefully this has given you a clearer understanding of how the water softening system works.